Hey, Ticats fans, an exciting week for just about everyone involved in the Canadian Football League, for everyone involved in the city of Hamilton, uh, but a very exciting week for my friend Orlando Steinauer, who is back. Uh, the league's back. We got a date on the calendar. Uh, Coach O, it is great to see you. Just take us through uh, your what you're feeling this week. Well, I think the obvious emotion is just excitement, like ready, ready to get going. But we got a little bit of time ahead of us and some other some other hurdles to go. It's one thing to wave the wand and say, go go to work and do your thing. But it's another thing to execute it. And, and we're in the execution phase, but we're embracing it. We're excited. We're, you know, half of the battle is going to be getting everybody across the border and situated. But, man, I think the key word there is just excitement. Being able to turn your focus, though, not having to worry about certain dates, when things are going to be approved, what's going to be approved. I mean, you guys, you know, you know you're going to be at training camp uh, in July. And that's got to be sort of like a mi major checkpoint for everything we've gone through in the last uh, 18 months here. You said it best. That is that we have we have some definite dates and some timelines to be met. And at the end of the day and, you know, August 5th, we're going to be playing some football. And I think the key word there is just play where everybody's going to play. And I know it's long awaited and there was a lot of heartache and pain and a, uh, for some, a, a painful roller coaster ride. And, and uh, it's something that we all didn't uh, anticipate, first of all. And I'm not sure we, we've ever experienced it. So it's hard to prepare for those type of things. But that's all in the rearview mirror now. We're rolling. We're ready. To, we're ready. We're full steam ahead. Uh, speaking of prepare, what kind of challenges are, are you and your coaching staff uh, obstacles, challenges, whatever you want to call them, with no preseason games. Uh, that how how much is that going to make those one on one battles in camp? Uh, how how much difficult is that decision going to be made for for you and your staff? Yeah, well, there's difficult decisions that are made every year, right? Whether you have preseason games or not, there's always players that you want to keep that you have to let go. There's injuries that happen that you didn't see or you didn't forecast, and so you know while this will be different for everybody, the playing field is is still even, and so. For us, uh, well, I'm not going to, you know, we're going to go through some of it and figure it out along the journey. And I'm surrounded by, by great people, uh, experienced people. Um, the way we do things, I'll take input and, and we'll go from there and we'll make, we'll make the best decisions we can to uh, what's best for the organization and ultimately what's best to win football games. Now, are you someone who, who visualizes? Are you, are you a visualizer? Do you get your team to visualize? I mean, because I'm just thinking in my head, I've, I've replayed that Labor Day Classic home opener. However many fans are in the building, it'll feel like it's full. But what do you kind of think of when you think of that, that home opener Labor Day Classic? I actually think about Winnipeg. That's really... That's really what I'm focused said, on. And I, I know said like that, a true that, coach said like a true coach. I believe it, but, but, but it's the truth and it's from the heart. Yeah. Uh, will it be awesome to get home and play? Did I look at it on the schedule and know when we, first of all, you know, when the Labor Day game was when we were going to play at home, of course, but right after that, it went right back to, to preparing for our first game and really not even the first game, you know, our first game really is, is the game of practice and that is going to start on the 10th of July and that's where we're focused fired up we had a great uh, uh, zoom meeting with with the staff here this morning uh, before this and er everybody's raring to go and I know that that's league-wide everybody's going to be raring to go but we control the Hamilton Tiger Cats and so that that's really our focus Louie is is really Winnipeg and then and uh, the 10th but yes. of course everybody circles Labor Day come on I mean, yeah, I knew what I was asking there, coach. And I knew, you know, one game at a time is the mentality that, that you've preached for, for a long time. But you have to be excited about the, the guys you're bringing to camp and, and, and just, you know, the iron sharpens iron mentality that these guys are going to be playing with in camp. I, I, for, for you personally, what, what are you most excited about once you get this group of people together? Just football, being around them. Like there's just, there, there's things that don't go into your description or your title. There's just being around football, being around it's the atmosphere. It's, it's, it's how you feel. It's, it's starting a, a new journey, you know, trying, trying to do, accomplish. Everybody knows the goal, right? But it's what you do in between. And, and what are your stepping stones to get there? So I'm excited for the competition. I'm excited uh, for the coaches to expand everything. I mean, you've got equipment people, therapists 
presidents, GMs, personnel people, all that are invested in this thing, you know, that, um, you know, strength and conditioning coaches, you've got everybody who are just chomping to get out there. So I'm excited to just ride that wave of energy and, and positivity and then uh, just see the smiles on the players' faces and watch them bond. I just love it. I, I won't take it personally. You didn't include digital hosts in that list of just about everyone who works in this organization, but uh, you know that's that's okay. I'm excited too, Coach. But uh, I did want to get your thoughts on just a couple of acquisitions. Of course, your first overall pick in the 2021 draft, Jake Burt. I haven't had a chance to talk to you about him, but what are you most excited about uh, what he could bring to your lineup? Just for for Jake, it's he loves football. It's it's very apparent. Like he's passionate about football. Like you can teach X's and O's, but you don't, you can't teach heart. It's hard to teach character and, and, and those type of things, those intangible things that you bring to the table. And, and Jake brings those, his physical stuff is easy to identify. You know, we love his skill set on the football field, but we love him as a person and his makeup. We love what his coaches and, and, and or other organizations have said about, about him, uh, loved it one-on-one -on -one talks with him. So I'm actually excited to just feel it now feel it live and see that as far as you know his, his physical presence you know we think he can he might be able to spread out and catch some passes I think he's tough enough to be in the box uh, he'll be able to contribute uh, on special teams mainly because he has the mindset that he wants to but some of that'll be a feel out too it's football's an inexact science you like to predict where every player is going to go and how it's going to work out but that doesn't always happen that way so uh, we just want him to come in and be himself, and uh, Tommy will have some special situations uh, for, for, for Jake, for sure. Uh, yeah, I, just read, I can imagine Jeff Reinbold and, and, and Tommy are, are, are planning evil genius in their head uh, on what they can do. And uh, just one more, uh, Mike Filer, someone, uh, you know, who we, we know the story, we, we know it, but he's back. And, and what, was the, what was the importance of getting him back on this roster heading into a shortened season? Yeah, so to get Mike back, first of all, you're you're getting a person that is basically a lifetime Tiger Cat. He is still hungry. He's committed. He's just an outstanding individual. Uh, he is willing to play whatever role. He'll come in and compete for whatever is necessary. And those are there's just so much that Mike brings to the table that you can't just get on what you see on film. And he he wanted to come back. Uh, we wanted him to come back and, uh, you know, he was fully uh, entrenched in possibly the next chapter of his life. And just, it just speaks to the man that he was open and willing. And, you know, he actually sent me a video the other day of him, of himself training and, and just saying he's ready to come in and, and compete. And those are the things that people don't see that they need to realize that it's more than just um, how many years he's played. It's, he brings a lot of quality. Uh, to the field of play um, on the field, but also a lot of quality off the field that is, is really unmatched usually. Uh, Coach, you have, you know, first time uh, giving you an opportunity to speak to the fans since we've uh, had a chance. So uh, a message for all the Tiger Cats fans out there. What do you want to say? Shoot, here we go. Uh, I look forward to seeing as many as they're going to allow. Uh, we want to see all of you out there. I'm fired up for it. I remember uh, we had a talk like this and some things that we were being creative. I think we said that we were going to try to get the wave going in the, uh, in, in Tony Horton's field. So I look forward. That's the challenge that I'm going to send to you guys. Let's make that thing loud and rocket as always. And just looking forward to seeing everybody.